How's it going? You've uh, got a lot done. There's, there's almost the ceiling up. And that wall is full. Yeah, which it doesn't look any different, but <laughs> three hours were spent both of us shoveling insulation into that wall. Yep, so that's all done. And then all the insulation is now gone because it's for the most part up in places it needs to be. Right, we just have to the edges yet, but I'm waiting on that because it's late. Well, and I've been cutting out these pieces of drywall, which are going to be used to fill the upper gaps, so mm -hmm. we can actually have like a, a fire break between our attic and the one next to it. Well, that and we found a wasp in the house. He's dead. He's dead now. But I would rather those not be in the house at if, all. If they're not already in and our And if attic. there are any other critters, such as bats or mice or anything, or squirrels or whatever, we're gonna just seal up that whole upstairs area. Um, but it looks really nice. Mm -hmm. As far as like having a ceiling in here, it's very different. I need to tape the seams yet. Yeah. And you're gonna tape that with? Uh, metal tape lasts the longest. It's, okay. It's the true duct tape, like not the actual stuff that's branded as duct tape, but it's like aluminum. Mm -hmm. It's like a sticky backing on it. So it is that's the in the easiest basement. way to slice the living daylights out of your fingers and make so. sure you wear gloves. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's tomorrow. What else is tomorrow? We're going to do seams. We're going to do drywall up and there. And we'll put the rest of the insulation up. And then the rest of the insulation will go up and then we'll be ready to put a ceiling in. Mm -hmm. That's like end game stuff. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. So that's our day tomorrow. But today... We're all done. I think so, yeah. It's late. We're all done. It's time for bed. Bedtime? Yeah, I think so. Bedtime. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. But anyway, thanks for hanging out. We appreciate it. Um, we're going to go to bed. <laughs> Get a lot of work done today. I don't know how much of it we filmed. I have no idea because I haven't looked at any of it yet. But at least we have something. You did? We have more than yesterday. Which doesn't say much. <laughs> so, um, we're going to get out of here. So, Leave some commentary. Tell us what you think of the project and all of those lovely things. I am going to bed. So thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. See you tomorrow. Bye.
What did you just say? You have a slight complication. So, we discussed that these two houses are near images of each other. Sure. Okay, so that means there's an open space in this dormer area over here. And it is 100% connected to the one next to it. So like, yeah, I can try to fill this gap at the top, but the entire wall surface is open. So there's a couple ways we can approach that. We can deal with it later when we take the ceiling out of the playroom, because essentially then that part of the house is underneath this and we would have access from below. Correct. And so that would basically let us like put a tall ladder up and then we could build a partition. Mm -hmm. Or I can attempt to finagle some sort of thing, but I'd have to build it entirely from above and it would probably be crap. No, let's just worry about it when we take apart the playroom. Okay. Let's seal up anything that we can. From and this then, level. Right, and then, and then we'll, we'll worry about the rest. Worry about the rest. Okay, so I'll do everything then that's from this corner over. Over. And then we'll worry about the stuff in this area when we can access it from below. Yeah. There is evidence at one time that there was a, a nest of some sort in there. Ugh, what? Just like shredded plastic grocery bags and stuff uh, right down there. So whenever we take, uh, whenever we take that ceiling, uh, out, that's gonna come. Ah, uh, uh, no, that's awful. Well, that's the whole point of like sealing all this stuff up is so that things like that don't happen again. Right. Right. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, and I can't tell exactly where it is, but there's like a spot when I look down in that wall that uh -huh. I can see daylight coming through. So, so there's, there's, a, there's hole. a hole in the front of the house somewhere. <laughs> I get, almost get the impression it's like with the, the slanted shingles, it's mm -hmm. like on the bottom of that or something. Okay. Then we can um, fix that later. And I don't know it's if it's on ours or if it's on the one next to it. We can always check later. So. All right. Carry on, I guess. Yep. Get the last piece of drywall up. Not doing the power slides anymore. <laughs> Start to tire out. <laughs> How do you exercise your dog? Oh, what I would give for a floor with traction, he says. Firewall. Yeah, that's built out of like hastily built drywall. <laughs> it works. So that's what you're about to go do. I don't know if it would actually stop a fire, but it will at least stop bats and other animals that may get in here. All right, show me how this stuff works. 
Uh, you basically screw a straw in it. Oh. Sorry, Jet. So here's your hasty drywall to fill in all those gaps between the houses. Yep. Wow, yeah, it is a lot quieter in here. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. crazy. You don't even have all the insulation in here. Right. But it makes a heck of a difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, let's do this thing. Yeah, essentially what you do is stuff. And It says only to fill it 50%. It's gonna expand. Uh, if it expands into the void, that's okay. <laughs> the noise! <laughs> and the rest of that's all lumber. Gross. Yep, all right. All right, we're all sealed up. Got all the gaps filled. So now we're ready to put uh, these bats of insulation here uh, up into this gap in the ceiling, and then we'll be good to go. You have a real ceiling, except for one spot. That's it. That's our last hole. And then we'll have all of the insulation up. Looks pretty awesome. Including his little like foamy stuff. We decided to do the full sheet where Steve is rather than over here because of that wire. So we're going to use all of our little scraps hopefully in that hole. And then the only other thing we need to do is get the, the duct tape. The real duct tape. Metal tape, yeah. yeah and do all of the seams so that it's a solid piece. Get excited!